Uh, Charles Warren of uh, Google. Uh, he leads Google's social UX team. Um, Buzz, Picasso, Blogger, the, uh, some of the new social search stuff you've seen popping up probably in the last couple of weeks from uh, Google search. Um, that's Charles's UX team working. Um, he's a brilliant guy that makes things happen. So I think uh, we should probably spend uh, five minutes or, uh, on his three words on how we can make design better. Charles. Thank you so much, Brandon. How's everybody doing? Five minutes. Um, I thought Peter had some really provocative things to say. And um, uh, design thinking is really, really an important part of this. And I'm going to talk about a tiny piece of, of an entire design thinking process. You won't be able to do it after I describe it in five minutes. I'm, this is actually a pitch to have Brandon come back and have me do a, a whole day on, on this process of the, uh, the how might we. It's a kind of STP in your tank for your brainstorming efforts. It's something that comes before brainstorming, right? And so these three words really do make design better. Um, and again, you won't know how to do this. Hopefully, this is just a provocation, right? So as, as Brand said, I lead social at Google. One of the cool things we just launched is a new profile. Go have a look at that. I would love to hear your feedback on that product. Um, at Google, in our design team, we use the how might we process every day, right? How might we predict whether a flu outbreak is going to, to happen based on search queries, things of that nature. Um, but not just, not just us, also IDEO. If you read Tim's new book, uh, Changed by Design, it's actually been out for a little while now. He says every design challenge at IDEO begins with how might we, those three words, right? So I'm going to tell you how it works. And I've done some research to try to find kind of the first example in the wild of a how might we process, group process. And it actually starts a little after this happened. You're a strong man, Brian. I am I too strong. Then shower up with Irish Spring. Ah, the double deodorants. Of the very one to get a strong man fresh. Look, and these green and white stripes are two deodorants to get a man fresh and clean. What a fine fresh scent. That's why I use it too. Irish Spring with two deodorants. So who remembers that? Yes, everybody of a certain age, right? <laughs> um, so. So that was the iPod of soap, right? So <laughs> in, in the 70s, Colgate launched that. And within a year, it was a billion dollar business, right? It was just unbelievable. And I think the margins actually, as good as they are on the iPod and the iPad and the iPhone, they're better on soap, right? It's one of those things you can make for a penny, sell for a dollar, and is pretty much addictive or indispensable, right? Um, and they had this radical technological advance, much like the touch screen, which was stripes, <laughs> right? And somehow that seized our imagination, and this found its way into, into uh, the, the bathrooms of Americans uh, north and south, um, which led to sort of panic at P&G, right? And so they had to meet this market uh, opportunity, much like Motorola and maybe their Zoom. Um, um, and at Procter & Gamble, any P&G people here? Anyways, they have this really wonderful rule that is they won't launch a product in, if it, unless it can beat the competitor or their incumbent in a blind test, you know, in sort of a, in a focus group situation. And they had tried six times with all different, like, sort of, you know, sort of uh, different shades of green and had failed, and the team was losing confidence. They were in one of these you know, um, soul-destroying, vertical-oriented organizations Peter was describing, so it makes sense. Um, but they had hired this young industrial engineer, a guy named Min Bassader, who was, he didn't dress like one, but he was kind of an organizational hippie, and he'd found all these books in the library about brainstorming process. And uh, he noticed that all brainstorms started with something like, how can we, or how should we, or let's brainstorm about. And since he was Canadian, he put this word might in the middle just, just because they're really polite. How might we, right? Uh, how might we uh, do X or Y, right? 
And he asked the team to sort of describe what their goal was. And they said that their goal was to make a better green stripe bar. And he asked this one very simple question, why? When you ask the question why about something you're trying to do, it opens up broader possibilities. So wide is in the direction of the strategic, right? So they said, we want to enter a new market. We want to make more refreshing soap, grow our company, make a better product, and beat Colgate. And he did that sort of with the same divergent thinking rules maybe some of the people in this room are, uh, are skilled at, at using. And then they picked kind of one they hadn't been paying attention to in the six previous tries, which was making more refreshing soap. And they took that forward into another round of how might we's, right? So that then went to a new one, which is, OK, how might we make a more refreshing soap, a broader goal than a green stripe bar, right? And then asked a new question to get at more tactical, more tactical uh, opportunities, which is what is stopping us? What, what's in the way of us making a more refreshing soap, right? And again, you do something that looks like a brainstorm. We're not brainstorming yet, right? Well, we don't know what refreshes people, right? Uh, we don't know what imagery to use. The, 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 and we, we really haven't thought about that. We've been focused on green stripes, right? We haven't been thinking about this refreshment thing, right? So they take that forward now. We don't know what refreshes people and start the process again. This is iterative, like the kindergartners building the marshmallow tower, right? Try it again, try it again, try it again. And so now we have this sort of logical chain going. And he says, oh, let's make a list. Let's just sit together and like, make a list without too much judgment of what refreshment means. Now we're brainstorming, OK? Because there are sort of specific answers to this, not more questions. And people say, you know, a cold drink or, or uh, riding on a roller coaster or menthol cigarettes. This was the 70s, right? Uh, uh, the beach. Um, Irish Spring, that one's been taken, but let's do it anyways. OK. Uh, a beach, that looks pretty good. And they take that as their kind of organizing metaphor. And within three hours, they have the concept for coast. OK? Right? So they try for eight months, six, six at bats, don't get anywhere. In a few hours, just reframing the question from green stripes to refreshment, bang on it, they get it. Coast never coasted very well. It never unseated uh, uh, Irish Spring. And they sold it to Dial uh, in about 10 years ago. But it did lead to some money for the company. So that was the, that was the original at P&G and Min. And then he started a consulting company called Simplex, which is still going and can train you in this. Um, he taught it to this guy, Gary Van Patter, who's been a speaker here. Um, who was hired along with me uh, back in 1996 at a company called Science. And Min and Gary taught me how to do it. And we did all sorts of workshops and kind of refined the process and brought it into the world of design. Um, I went to IDEO, where we did all sorts of huge, we, I think I have the record for the most, 700 people doing How Might We Use It Once at Moscone. Um, and then I taught it to Ilya and Peter and Sandy at IDEO and actually a bunch of people here at um, Adaptive Path. And uh, uh, Tim put it in his book on how to do it with a quote that I started with. So that's how might we, again, a lot to learn about this. This is just a little touch. Um, but the way you do it is write how might we, all the things you might do, and then ask two questions. Why? to get at broader concepts, and what's stopping us to get at the more tactical? Thank you.